Hey guys, Jason here for Shark Eyes, taking a look at gold again. Had a pretty wonderful day, spent a good part of the afternoon fishing and uh, just getting away from the markets and remembering why I'm putting so much time and effort into this. It's to be able to step away and uh, just reconnect with family, friends, nature, be outside, be away from the charts. And uh, that's why I'm here. This, this lifestyle is incredible because it gives me this opportunity to make digital money out of nothing, just using knowledge and education and experience. And you get to step away and not have to worry about your nine to five and go and just throw a line in the water. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, to that end, we need to keep apprised of what gold's doing and we'll talk about uh, the day's action and what we were looking for yesterday and the follow through and things to come. So on the daily time frame, we saw a lot of volatility today, a very tight body on this candlestick, big upper wick and a little bit of lower wick and a pretty notable volume as well. So how did we get here? Well, we left off yesterday looking at the hourly time frame and these levels are going to be a little bit different because apparently I'm using a different source and I can't seem to find the one I was using yesterday. It was FXCM, and I can't for the life of me find it in TradingView now, so bear with me. But the, the story was more or less the same. We were in a nice hourly uptrend, and we needed these hourly bulls to continue that. Get that hourly trend over 1500 because 1500 was going to be a four-hour higher high, and that was going to be a trend change. And if you look on the hourly time frame, we break over that. Volume picks up. We get a back test on pretty low volume which is notable. And then things really get interesting with this big move to 1524 indecision candlestick. And now we're currently breaking and in an hourly downtrend. So that is pretty interesting. And uh, the big takeaway for me is going to be, of course, the fact that we broke over the 1500. That's what the signal for the four hour time or trend change, pull back on low volume and then break out. RSI got high up to uh, about 77 and change. And on the four hour time frame. Uh, we did not get overbought. So what's key here on the four hour time frame is we've gone pretty aggressively set a new higher high. As long as bulls can stay over this four hour higher low, which is now currently sitting at, let's adjust that to the correct level, 1489, things are going to be okay. We can even take an hourly downtrend all the way down here. As long as we carve out a nice space of support, uh, then we're okay. We do have a lot of way to go if we're going to get a four hour higher high because our four hour resistance is currently way up here. 1524. So for that reason, we need to look at that daily. Again, we got an inside bar very likely setting up unless we have a very, very negative news on gold. So we'll be keeping a close eye on the hourly time frame. Our hourly time frame is now consolidated enough so that our RSI is mid range at 44.85. Now we're going to wait to see what happens. We are in an hourly downtrend. Our last hourly resistance by the bulls was this attempt back up at 1499. So pretty much is that 1500 psychological level. We'll be watching if bulls can get over that. Should we continue this downtrend, we have support at 1489 and 1479. And you can carve out a little bit here at 1497, 1484. So a little bit of recovery here. We need to see if we can get this daily or this hourly trend back in favor of the bulls and uh, wait for a new pattern to develop. And until then, good trading, good luck. And if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to post them. And I look forward to making a video tomorrow.